Hi everybody, Don Valance here with another two minute tutorial for TriCaster Advanced Edition with NDI. I'd like to talk about the integration of data link. You know, have you ever done a show and brought up a wrong title during that live show? Well, it's embarrassing and it's something none of us really want to have to experience. And with TriCaster Advanced Edition, you never have to experience that because your titles can be dynamically driven by many different variables in the live production environment. I'll give you an example here. Uh, we have a title in downstream keyer number one, which is just line one, line two, and it doesn't matter what input we look at, that is a downstream key, and it's just going to remain the same no matter what the input is. Let's go ahead and take that away. But one thing that we can do is we can name our inputs. You can see I'm coming in on ME1 here, and if we configure ME1, it's been configured so that the video name is Don Balance, and the comment is host. We've also configured the uh, ME that Rex is in for Rex, and we've configured the one that Kiki is in for Kiki. Now we can just tell the title to use that information from the input. So we'll go to our title template, and under line one, we can type in percentage, and this is going to be the program source name. So I just type P, and it sorts the list for me, and I can see program source name. That's gonna be my line one. And line two, again, I will type percent and just P, and I get the program source comments there. We're gonna go ahead and select that, and we can close that down. And if we bring this title back up, we can see because ME1 is on program, it is now set up with the information from the input, which is my name and my title. If we take that away and go to ME2, and then bring the same title up with the same title template, we see that it is now set up for Rex Olson. And again, if we go out to uh, Kiki Set, it's now set up for Kiki. And this is dynamically driven. You can see you can just cut from set to set using that same title and that same downstream keyer, and it's always going to deliver the right title for the right input. I hope you found this helpful. If you have other ideas for topics that we can cover in two-minute tutorials, please put them in the comments below. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.